I am just an everyday ordinary lady living an everyday ordinary life as a reseller and I it's Kai at the thrifting channel and it is a few days before Christmas 2021 but I am thinking ahead I got out of this morning I had some protein and no carbs and I'm gonna go have my coffee but in between time I did some restructuring took some things out to my car to put in to the storage took some things out of my car to bring into the house so I can list them and I was thinking you know what uh, there are a few things that we are not doing right now we are not prepared for 2022 as resellers especially in December we are like thinking Christmas what am I gonna buy Jojo what am I gonna buy Susie what am I gonna buy Kanisha what am I gonna what am I gonna buy auntie we're thinking in the here and the now we're not thinking ahead but this year for some strange reason I had a clear <laughs> clarity of mind to think ahead and I was thinking there are three things that we need to prepare for as resellers in 2022 I'm not even gonna edit this out in any spaces I have in my talk I'm just gonna just free flow here okay what are the three things Aha! before I get to those three things I want to say thank you for listening to this podcast slash video and I want to thank all of my new subscribers I want to thank all of my returning subscribers I appreciate you if you are a youtuber yourself and I am subscribed to your channel you know what it's like to have views and new people come in all the time I love that. I love talking to people I always have. I love talking to people that I've known as well as new ones. So thank you. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Let's get to the start. So look, it's again before Christmas in 2021. What are you going to be doing the next two weeks after Christmas is over? Hmm? Think about tomorrow as being January. What are you ready to do tomorrow? Here's what I'm going to be ready to do, and I'll share that with you. Number one, workout gear, athleisure. That's right. We all know everyone's turning over that new leaf again to go and work out again to start a new diet again. Let's encourage them by giving them something nice to wear, right? Leggings, workout jackets, sports gear. We all know that we go into the stores, the main stores in January, and they're filled with leggings and jackets and sneakers and all that stuff that encourages you to go out and lose the weight or become, you know, more healthy. We want to join them. I want to join Target and it's, you know, salute to the people that are going to go lose weight. I want to join you and help you lose weight too. Wear some of the things I have in my closet, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be listing things that are um, athleisure based, workout based in my closet. And it doesn't just have to be clothing. If you have electronics that can help with that, this will be a really good time to list them. All your Fitbits that you're trying to sell, relist them, you know? All right. Workout gear, athleisure, that stuff. That's the number one thing that I will be doing in January as far as being a reseller. The number two thing I'm going to be doing as far as being a reseller is buying new bins. Usually in January, Walmart and Target both will have the cheapest, I don't mean cheap as in not well made, I mean the least expensive time of the year that you can go and buy a bunch of storage bins. That's the time of year that I usually go and I buy brand new ones for the ones that I have that are cracked or are missing lids. I prefer to have clear ones so that I can see what's in them. Once I put something in a, in a bin that's dark, it's literally in there forever until I'm like, what the heck is in this? It's like a mystery bin every time I open it. So if you have inventory or even just your own stuff that needs to be put away, think January because that's the time that they're going to have all these sales on all of these bins, clear, unclear, yellow, blue, red, green, black, whatever color you want. They're there. Check it out. It'll be January. Usually the first few weeks of January is when the bigger stores have these organization things happening. And you can go and get really good bins for a nice, inexpensive price. 
Now, I know I'm going to pause here once again to say thank you if you've made it this far. I usually do not ask people to subscribe to my channel or hit the like button um, because I don't do it. I just don't do it. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to formally ask you if you would purposefully hit the like button below and to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't mean that you have to watch every video I watch, I make. Maybe you don't like every video I make, and that's perfectly fine. But if you like this one, if I've said something that may have sparked a, a new thought in your mind, then please uh, give me a thumbs up on that because, you know, that means that we are thinking alike, right? Right. Now, what is the third thing? The third thing that I'm going to be doing in January I, I do encourage everybody to start thinking more like Target or Walmart and start planning ahead. This is the time to start going through any of your leftover inventory that you may have from last year and start putting that up for spring. Now, in many parts of the country and the world, spring is, you know, in the upcoming months, March, April, May. And we want to encourage those people to start looking at things once the snow thaws and the ice melts to come to our closets and listings and purchase things from us. Start thinking spring. Keep those sweaters and jackets and coats in there because we're not done with winter yet. I'm talking about specifically thinking ahead because if you wait and start listing all of that spring stuff, in the middle of March, April, and May, you're going to miss those other early birds who are out there shopping for their spring skirts and spring tops and blouses and spring items. You're going to miss them because everyone else who thinks ahead is going to be ahead of you. So start putting, start sorting out those spring things. I just went in my storage and started sorting out the spring things for spring and it's again before Christmas in 2021 so I suggest you start doing the same I hope that I have said something to inspire you I hope I have said something that makes you go yes that's right yes that's a good idea if I have please hit that like button below leave me a comment tell me what your favorite January thing to do is do you list your athleisure do you go out and buy a bunch of bins? Do you go back to the gym yourself? Change your lifestyle a little bit? It was four Januarys ago, um, that I actually four Decembers ago, where I bought my last, last two liter of soda. Four years ago. And I have not bought a two liter of soda since. That doesn't mean I don't drink soda. I drink soda about four or five times a year. And I can feel it each time. <laughs> but I gave it up. I gave it up. So tell me what you do. What do you do in January that you can remember that it's like, okay, I'm going to mark this occasion. This is, this is it. My name is Kai and I've been a reseller for 20 plus years. And I am just an everyday ordinary lady living an everyday ordinary life as a reseller and I'm so glad to have you join me here and I will see you in the next video.